And welcome back, YouTube. Uh, this was effectively the third part in this recording session. Probably actually make this round episode 50. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Anyway, not that much. Well, actually, no. Take a little more. Forgot we got the moose hide satchel, which is increasing repairing capacity. Yeah, about that. We have about 10 kilograms over overweight, so we'll walk a little bit slower. Um, which shouldn't be too much of a problem getting down to the cabin with. Well, down to the garage with. See if I can keep my building types separate in my mind. We're going to the garage, pick up the fishing supplies, and going to the fishing hut. Got the uh, crampons on right now. Heavy. So instead of being warmer, I can do a little bit more old terrain maneuvers to get to places faster. Um, once we get to the garage, I'll probably swap to the earmuffs. I guess it'll be a little bit flatter from here to the... well, from there to, uh, the fishing hut. Um, if I didn't need to pick up the fishing supplies from the garage, probably would just be faster to walk straight down to the hut from here. Can't feel my hands. Uh, basically, I'm gonna walk her along to the hut. Hello. Uh, here's I got a couple people raiding the uh, stream. So this has been a long dark run on on interloper. Um, the run's going fairly well. I think we're out on day... might be 48, 49 at this point. I uh, got all the basic survival equipment together, so... Got stuff like double bear coat and stuff ready. And wearing them, so it's just keeping your character about as warm as you can hope on Interloper these days. Uh, this late in the game. So cold. Can't resist picking stick up. Uh, if you have any questions about, yeah, dub double bear coat. Uh, it might have been bag is getting too heavy the to end. It might have been around 50 instead of before 50, but yeah, about 50. Um, if you want to see any of uh, a lot of the earlier stuff, I've been while I've been streaming it live as I record it, I've been uploading the recordings to YouTube. So if you want to watch some of the earlier parts of the stream. It, or some of the earlier streams they are up on YouTube. I've uh, been having them scheduled to come out one one part uh, a day. Uh, I suppose this is also technically. I think this might actually be part fifty because uh, I've been trying to keep them in about thirty forty minutes. Um. Well, that's a good question. I don't remember how long I've been in, in Loper. Um, I know my longest is in Stalker. Us usually because on Loper I start over um, before I get real deep. Uh, though I have done 50 days in Loper. I think I did, I did 50 days in Loper without hunting, maybe? I, I, did, I did the passive achievement on, on Loper. 
Um, so it's been, I've definitely done at least 50 day runs on Loper before. Um, and then on Stalker, uh, so, so the goal of this run on Loper is actually to try to map uh, the, the map, map the whole map. Um, I've done all the stuff in the uh, normal game map-wise on Stalker, and that took 230-something days, I think. I think that's the longest I've been in-game. Um, and I suspect on Loper, because of the more frequent, frequently bad weather, uh, it will probably take a little bit longer than that to map the game. Uh, so I'm not necessarily expecting this to make it 500 days or anything, though. If I do actually map the entire map, I might try to stretch it to 500 days um, with what supplies I have left. Uh, just to get the 500 day achievement, but that's going to take a long time, obviously. Uh, and will require me not screwing up, because the other condition for this run to end is if I die. Um, Yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, so... Uh... The, my, my goal, right, is to do, do the map, right? So, map the map. Um... That may have been one of the reasons I haven't necessarily gone much past 50 days uh, before playing it by myself, is... Uh, run out of things that are interesting, or it gets too tedious to do whatever I'm doing, and forget to pick up where I left off. Uh, I'm hoping I get to where I'm planning on going quickly, because I'm starting to run out of calories in this character's stomach. Lost. I think I am where I think I am. Okay, yeah, I am where I think I am. Thought I got myself lost at some point and missed a turn. Um, I did kill the bear, or not, well, I killed the bear here, but I also killed a moose uh, near the garage, so I'm gonna stop quickly by the pile of moose meat to feed the character. Maybe a little low. Well, I ran out of normal water, but we need to memory serves. I got a ton of water out at the fishing spots. I'm not necessarily worried about the fact that the characters ran out of water for the moment. for wearing bear coat. Uh, sometimes the wolves, when they detect you, will be scared and run away. Starting to weigh me down. Okay, so this is what we came here for. My fishing supplies. some fuel behind, so that it's a little bit of a lighter trip for our character out the rest of the way. Yeah, something like that. It'll be like five kilograms of weight, but that'll also at least move faster. Q. 
can't feel my feet. I think I lost the wall stout. I don't want to buy. I'm not sure I can carry much more. using the auto arc function to walk a nice straight line. I guess if I was trying to manually walk this walk, I might not walk the straightest. I'd like. Campfire from when I killed. That was the. Is that the third bear or the fourth bear? Third bear. That would have been the third bear. Slip in misanthrope cabin, take a one hour sleep inside to warm the character up, uh, and then I'll make a decision on what we're doing from there based on the weather. stuff to carry. There's a state of hyper... Okay, so we've been outside enough um, that cabin fever has gone away, which is good. I um, like to keep it gone, so I'm not going to spend too much time inside. So this is pretty good weather. So I'll probably do some fuel harvesting. Uh, but not to have our character walk around too slow, I'm going to go ahead and drop off most of the fuel we're carrying at the fishing site. No problem. Hope you have a good night. Uh, if you want to catch any of the other parts, feel free to uh, pop over to YouTube at some other time. Um, as I have in the description, the the YouTube video, it, well, the YouTube channel is the same username as I am, uh, plus 100, so it's Bullco 100. I need to drop something. I uh, hope otherwise you have a good night.
is, I found one of the uh, Rara uh, beachcombing items on Jalopa. We've got a boat. Um, it is a possibility it's actually too far out to really interact with, but we'll find out as soon as I drop the stuff off. Drop our fishing supplies here. So I'm going to be carrying them around with us. So we're going to use a mackerel. Um, I think the cupboard is full of... The cupboard is full of coal. Sticks. Take the sticks out and put more coal in it. If we can actually interact with this uh, beach coming loop. It is interloper, so things like these lockers are most likely going to be empty. Yeah, looks like. Other than an uh, interesting item to wash ashore, uh, no real loot on it. Close to the edge there. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, assuming I'm going to be careful, swap back over to the earmuff. Something's gotta go. To uh, warm the character up. It's not necessarily making a big difference. It's the difference between minus six and minus five. Killers. Not bad. Good to know that they're technically renewable on the interloper because of that. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Well, you're gonna leave a coal in this campfire. And we're gonna turn Turned it out pretty well. into an opportunity to harvest some other fuel. Weather went oof. Well, we'll have to start fishing then. Good 
could, in theory, reset the um, beach coming. So we might get some different stuff on the beach besides the uh, fish we just looted and the boat that didn't have anything. Roll a one. Ninety-five percent chance to succeed is functionally equivalent to rolling anything but a one on the D twenty. Die if I don't warm up soon. All right. A wolf in this blizzard. Interesting. Uh, how cold is it? Oh, warm enough. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Eat the old fish before we make new fish. So that wolf in the middle of the Place, not craft. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh, I have a second fish on me. Whoops. Trying not to aggro the wolf any more than I have to. Some nice hip ups to do the fishing with.
press the wrong button and put the fish back in? Might have to drop some gear. Might have. Something is sapping my energy. It would be called being tired, my friend. Has a annoying habit of doing that IRL. Line snap. It's dusk. So night can't be far behind. So, to be fair, line snap on the tip-ups aren't that bad. It just means you lost condition and, and didn't get the fish. Too much stuff to carry. some bait to actually put in our fishing traps. annoying wolf why the weather is not completely terrible. Oi, wolf. Do not appreciate your continued annoyance. Did it? Of course. I'll actually bait it this time. Fuel do I have on this fire? Probably doesn't count. Two hours. Two hours should be fine. How's the water in the pot? Ah, if I can get the water. Let's just have it cooked. A minutes when the tips up, tip ups are up. See all the wear that's putting on my axe, chopping into the ice like that. That's why I usually prefer to use 
Uh, bars. All this gear is slowing me down. Um, but I wore my pry bar out, so I have to use other tools. Tip up, didn't tip up, didn't tip up. Take you off before you burn. Let me place you with the two liters of water. Then that's fuel there. I'm so tired. Hide off. Come back over and check and see if my tip apps have uh, gone. One of them has. Place the tip up. Melting yet. Yeah, two minutes still ready. Alright, here mainly for the lantern oil and not for the fish, so I'll eat the less nutritious wolf meat first. Still the same boat from Free Blizzard. We're probably too close to it when the blizzard is happening to get it to despawn and replaced. Okay, so we have enough fire on there that we should be able to finish all the cooking we have over the other site. Nothing left from the corpse. Pass the time, I will. Sharpen our axe because we've been wearing the axe out. This is the broken arrow. Don't see the tip ups tipped up yet, so we'll assume they're not tipped up. Here's the one in the hut, but it's hard to see, so I suppose one of them could have tipped up. And get some more pieces of meat going. Oh, guess you are the small one. Yeah, that one's the small one, okay. Uh, we obviously need more fuel in the fire, so I'll put more sticks. Have I tipped up yet? Nope. Nope, one of them tipped up. Sadly, the one that I don't think has any bait on it. So, greater likelihood that there's nothing on this one. Yeah. Let's see, how close are we to having the cooking done? You're cooked. I'm gonna get you on the fire. 
18, 20 with 40 minute fire, so we should be able to finish those up. Okay. Now we can move back to the main fishing hut. I need to drop something. Tip up tipped. How big is that fish? Only enough to get three bait of it, so not super big. I'm only getting three bait out of it. Sure, I've mapped out here already. Now we can let that fire just go out. We'll be fine. something behind. And a quick break in the ice. How much time has passed? 15 minutes. Beep the uh, tip up. Tip it going, tip it going. That's a question. I think the answer is yes. We're gonna try to avoid taking more fish damage. The character's getting a little damaged by taking a short nap. Hopefully, this will cause a bunch of the tip ups to tip up. Yes, we do have a tip up tipped up. This pack is getting kind of heavy. We got a bit of a lull right now, so this is where I'm going to go ahead and put the cut in for YouTube. Uh, this episode is a little bit longer than most because we've done a bunch of fishing and such, but catch YouTube uh, tomorrow.